lift you up and I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled with praise. My heart, my mind, yes, Lord my soul belongs to you. You paid the price for me way back on Calvary. That's why I praise you. Lord, I lift you up. And I magnify your name. That's why my heart is filled. That's why my heart is filled. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Thank you, Lord. Oh, uh, so I won't complain means so much to me. Because I've had some good things. and some sleepless nights. So when I stop and look around, think things over, all of my good things, you put them on a scale and I was all the bad things. I won't
Oh, I, I'm, I'm listening to the song and just the man singing it. And I forgot to say, we do not own the rights to the music. Oh, and at this time, I yield the line to Pastor Apostle Cynthia Davison to do the prayer. Amen. Welcome to Ministerial Engagement. Amen. Praise God for today. Amen. We should not complain because God has been so good to us and he does wipe all our tears away he turns our midnight in today so we ought to tell god thank you thank every you. day every chance we remember every time we remember we ought to tell god thank you for what you brought me through what you're bringing me through and what you're gonna bring me through in the name of jesus so welcome please share please share this great video on today amen father god we just come before you today just magnifying you, glorifying you, praising your high and your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Father God, we just need you on today. We want to worship you on today. We want to glorify you, magnify your name, oh God, because you alone are worthy of our praise, our honor, and all the glory. It is all due to you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> So God, just come on in and have your way. We bind the works of the enemy even now in the name of Jesus. Every, any spirit of affliction, anything, any co computer malfunction, any, any none well wish in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, just come on in and have your way. Have your way we need your divine presence on today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We welcome your presence. We welcome your glory. We need your anointing on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, transform hearts <coughs> and minds on today, oh God. We bind Satan in my neck and my throat. In the name of Jesus, we bind his words even now. We cancel your assignment, devil. In the name of Jesus, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up in judgment against us, God shall condemn. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, come on in and have your way. We need your divine will to be done on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Oh, God, just come on in and destroy the yokes and the lies and hearts of men, women, boys, and girls across this nation, across this globe, oh, God. Everyone that will hear and listen to this video, oh, God. God, let your anointing touch their heart. Let your spirit touch their hearts and minds and souls and spirits on today, oh, God. Heal scorching fevers. Who, cool, oh, God, cool, oh, God, cool their minds. In the name of Jesus, we need your presence. Yes, Lord. We need your anointing, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Everything is going on, oh God, in this earth, but you're using it to get our attention. You use it so you can get the glory out of our lives, oh God. You said you would that all men come into repentance and none perish. You give them giving us chance after chance, opportunity after opportunity to come running to you saying, What must you do to be saved? In the name of Jesus, pestilence going around. Earthquakes in diverse places, rivers drying up, fires in diverse places, oh God, famine, food shortages, oh God, men becoming strangers, oh God, but God, you yet given us a chance to come and worship you in the beauty of holiness, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, just have your way today, in the name of Jesus, look at what all the apostles and prophets 
the evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Oh God, the administrative helps of God in the body of Christ. Mm. In the name of Jesus, give us a mind to be about your business, not our business, but your business. And your business is to win souls to you, to bring souls into the kingdom, Lord God, to encourage, to lift up the hung down head and let them know that you yet say, you yet deliver, you yet set free, you yet heal. You never lost the battle, you never lost the case. You have not lost any power, oh God. And we thank you. Thank you, Father God. Oh God, there's none like unto you. There's none like you, oh God. Buddha can't compare. Muhammad can't compare. Confucius can't compare. Krishna can't compare. Any other idol that's been set up in your place, oh God, none can compare to you, oh God. You from the stars into space. You form the earth in the palm of your hand. You form man from the dust of the ground and you breathe breath into man and we became a living soul. And we thank you, Father God. You couldn't have left earth like it was, but you saw fit to create man in your image and in your likeness, oh God. We thank you, Father God. We just give you glory on today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We put flesh under subjection. We put flesh behind the cross and ask you to have your way on today, oh God. Your will be done this day. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus, we bless you, oh God. We give you all glory. We give you all honor. We give you all praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. 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 Turn you back to the hands of Prophet Bonnie Foster. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Lord I Jesus. give reverence. So oh, hallelujah. And I give honor to God and his yes. spirit. Oh, hallelujah. That is with yes. us. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. I thank you, God, for your son, Jesus, that yes. died on the cross. So oh, hallelujah. And I thank God for each and every one of you yes. that have joined with us today. Yes. Today is different. Today mm -hmm. is a different day. Mm, we're in a new season. Mm, God is giving us exactly what we're going to be needing in this season. Mm, and he's did a shift. And in the shift, he's even given a shift. In me and and Apostle Davidson on on what we're to do, mm -hmm. I, as you know that we come and we're praying to the Lord all the time, asking God, what is it that you'll have us to do? And God, He revealed to us on today, oh yes, I got to see what we're to do, and so share this with someone that they may receive also. Go back and watch it that you can receive the more, the more, and the more of what God is going to pour out and what he's doing yes. in this new season. Yes. I give honor to the Lord God. I'm going to play this next song, and I want the saints of God to listen. If you don't know someone to save, send this um, to them also in Messenger. Send them the link in text. Tell them to come on Facebook and go to Bonnie Foster in Charlotte or Cynthia Davidson or Lynn Davidson in Houston, Texas, yes. and tell them we have in church on today. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Tell them, oh, hallelujah, if you want to meet God and you want to know him come on today and join us oh hallelujah to god be all the glory oh hallelujah yes. we thank the lord oh hallelujah thank you god thank you lord god thank you we god. are climbing you know jacob oh we are Climb, yes we are, Jacob. I tell you now, we are, we are. Yes, we are, Jacob. And we do not own the rights to the music as Pastor Michael Benton sings it. Oh, oh, I tell you now, we are. Climbing, Jacob. Oh, we, we are. Yes, we are, Jacob. Yeah, yeah, we are. 
God has given instructions or shall got to see for us or hallelujah as his people. He wants us to worship him. Yes. To worship him in spirit and in truth. So many of us and so many churches today, they use gimmicks. Uh-huh. They use, oh, I got to see all kind of stuff. They be using the rap. They be getting the, the secular singers uh -huh. to come in there to sing with the gospel singers to yes, be able do. to get people in. God uh -huh. wants people to stop 
Yes. Him and him alone. Oh, check out yes, the God the and God alone. Oh, check yes. out the the word, the true and the living word being preached, oh, yeah, see, should bring the people. God Amen. said that He wanted us, oh, yes, you gotta see, to tell people to come. Yeah. Oh, yes, you gotta see, to come with their whole hearts, not because of the 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 the, the, the bebop music or the rap music or or but to come because of your heart. Yeah, he's he told us because he's been telling us for my, um, me for two years now, even before the pandemic, to tell the people to prepare. I've been telling y'all to get the sanitizers and the, the Lysol wipes and how you were going to have to stay in your houses. He's even giving you warning regarding what to expect regarding everything. But he's given specific instructions because you've had your opportunity to hear and to receive. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, I gotta see. And now he's saying your heart. Yes. Mm, that's I gotta see. He had a reason for doing it in the order that he did. And I can see the reason. And if you are smart in the Lord, and if you are able, you see the reason also. He's saying, come, come. Oh, yes, I gotta see, come and take mm -hmm. now. Oh, yes, I got to see. I'm going to play this next song. But first, I'm going to yield the line to Pastor Davison in case God has given her a nugget to give to you before we do play this next song. And then we're going to go forth on with specifically what God has told us to do. And if you haven't invited someone that's unsaved, if you haven't invited someone that you know that has fallen, Tell them that church is going on today. And it's two women. The third one, I wish she was up here with us too. Um, <laughs> Elder Jeanette, a little prophetess of God. But she's going to be here with us on, on, on Friday. And I just cannot wait until she's hey, up man. here. But right now, it's two women. Because all three of us are crazy about the Lord God. Amen. And we're just crazy enough to do every single thing that he yeah. asks us to do. And Amen. you ought to be the same way. Yeah. Yes, I'm saying you ought to be. Because awesome. God, God, yes, God is awesome. And he is telling you to come. This is a personal invitation. Mm -hmm. This is a personal invitation to those that have went in a backslid, maybe in a backslidden state. Mm -hmm. It's for those that haven't gave their life to God. It's for those that during the pandemic, you were having a party house going on. And God mm -hmm. is saying, okay, it's time. Get, get yourself together. Get yourself to, together. Today is that day because we're in a new mm -hmm. season. And some of the things that you're going to see, oh, this you're going to see, you're going to wish that you knew the Lord God. I yield to you, Lord, um, Lord God, to use Pastor Davison, your apostle, mm -hmm. for your will at this time. In Jesus' amen. name, amen. Amen. Before you said that, God had told me to go to Isaiah. Chapter 6, uh, starting at verse 1. And it reads, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. Above it stood the seraphims. Each one had six wings. With twain he covered his face, and with twain he covered his feet, and with twain he did fly. And one cried unto another and said, Holy, Holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the post of the door moved as the voice of him that cried, and the house was filled with smoke. Then said I, woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord, of hopes. Amen. And God is saying, today is the day that his glory is going, to, is going to fill the temple. Not the building. He wants to fill this temple here. This heart, this, your heart right here. Admit that you are a person of unclean lips. And you dwell among people of unclean lips. Your, your, your friends, your family, they need to be saved just like you do. And once you do this, 
the glory of God is going to come in. So the doorpost of your house is going to move. And, the, and you're going to realize that, that God is the Lord. And he is the Lord of hosts. He's the king of kings and the Lord of hosts. God is saying, prepare for his coming into you. Prepare so he can clean you and prepare you and settle your spirit. Because if you don't know Jesus in this next season that's getting ready to hit, you're going to wish that you have become, that you have begun to know him. Because there was Isaiah saying, he saw the Lord, because King Uzziah was Isaiah's uh, uncle. And he said, in the year that my own uncle died, God has to move my uncle out of the way. God has to move some of your family members out of the way. So you can see God. He can use you. Have to, he has to move your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors out your way. Your boo. Your BFF. Your soul ties. Amen. Your soul ties. That man that you ain't married to, but you shacking up with. Just because just because he gave you money to pay your bills. God getting ready to move him out the way because he wants to fill Tell you daddy. up. He wants, he wants to fill you up. He wants to save you Amen. from what's to come. Amen. 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 Mm, you don't need no sugar daddy. You don't no. need those soul ties. God will do everything you need. Yes. You hear yes. me? I'm, yes. I'm a witness. I am a witness. So yes. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Witness. church of four generations Hallelujah. and uh, Hallelujah. They, what you just heard them say was the way the, the busters and the, and the bridges say it but some of y'all been right here a long time y'all remember that's, that's a remix what they just did give them a hand for the remix they, my mind Mm, mm, mm. May it come to Christ, come to Christ now. You, any that you think by, by Pastor Juvie Smith Jr. singing the old school hymn. Oh, hallelujah! God specializes, and He did. He was a specialist that worked on me and all that sin that I was bound in, all of those spirits that was on me. God delivered me. Oh, hallelujah! In the old saints in the house, God. Specialize in things that seem impossible, and he do what no the power, Holy Ghost power. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thanks in here. Can do. <laughs> I remember my granddad said, asking that question. Have you any affliction? That seems incurable. Anybody remember that old folks singing that one? Doctors, those old doctors have done all they they can do. Come on, come on, church. Anybody remember saying, God, God specializes in healing. In healing, in healing, in healing, all kind of diseases, and he'll do what no other power, Holy Ghost power, Holy Ghost power. Can do. Now we've done it contemporary. Can we do it old school? I just need somebody to help me say this. You know, God. 
specialize. Come on. God specialized and he will do what no other power holy ghost power holy ghost come out i gotta get to this word but one more time somebody help me see god special somebody say god Specialized. If you're sick in your body, God specializes. Trouble in your home, God specializes. Anybody ever tried it? God specializes. He'll make a way out of no way. He specializes. God specializes. And he will do what no other power. That's whatever it is that you need. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Go to God now. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Why the song plays and yeah. ask God oh hallelujah he's a specialist he will heal your back he will heal your body he will heal you from COVID he will heal you oh yes I gotta see he specializes oh hallelujah in any and all things he will heal yeah. your marriage oh hallelujah he will yeah. heal that friendship he will mend that that broken relationship with that child oh yes I gotta see he specializes specializes oh hallelujah yeah. mm, I gotta see. he specializes oh hallelujah and and things that the doctor can't do oh can't hallelujah see. the doctor the can't do but god can mm, yeah. i gotta see that inoperable brain tumor yeah. oh hallelujah god will heal and deliver oh i yeah. gotta see what the doctor say there's paralyzation on your left side mrs foster and you're uh, not going to be able to walk because all mm. your the, the important parts are just degenerating and going away so uh -huh. it's not it's paralyzing paralyzed yeah. you hear me but look yeah. look look yeah. i can move i can walk i can yeah. praise the lord yeah. because yeah. you know why because god oh hallelujah yes yeah. Oh, hey, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When you're about to give up this morning, you're about to turn your back on you. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, he does. We just had the most amazing family. We bless the Lord. We bless the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We bless the Lord God because he specializes. He specializes. He does. He specializes. Yes, y'all got to see y'all. You, you got to understand. Yeah. And I was a mess. I was a mess. I was. I wasn't a nice person. Oh, yes, I got to see. I was a fun person. Mm -hmm. oh, hallelujah. But God gave me a personality transplant. Yeah. Yes, he did. <laughs> he gave me a personality transplant. He gave me a heart transplant. Come on now. He Come gave on me soon. a brain transplant. He oh, transplanted bye -bye. everything. You hear me? He put me up on that wheel and he made me over. People say that's all Bonnie talk about. It's the Lord. I don't uh, care if you say that because that's the truth. I amen. love the Lord. I love the Lord. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. I love the Lord. Woman of God, God gave me specific instructions and I'm going to adhere to it. Sometimes, um, one of the things you see, sometimes people, they'll get up 
and they'll just preach a sermon or they'll uh -huh. preach because that's what they're coming on to do or that's what they're in church to do. Uh -huh. God is telling you and directing you to go do something different. Do you uh -huh. do that? Amen. He's not telling uh, a Pastor Davison. He's not telling me. He's not telling us to go get somebody else to bring a word today because the word is through the testimony. Yes. And the word is through what even what the woman of God gave you all ago in Isaiah. Yes. The word is, oh, she, I got to see what God said. He huh. said to tell people to come to me today. Yes. That yes. is the goal for today. Yes. It's for today. people to rededicate themselves yes. to Christ, yes. to repent. Yeah. Because there is not anyone without sin. You've done yes. something. We all have. It could be even an ink pen that you forgot to give somebody. You could have spoken mean to somebody yes. and it hurt them. And that they may have told you not to do it, uh, say it again, but you did. Uh -huh. This is all oh, in Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so that's why it's so important for us to repent daily yeah. and to go to the Lord God and to ask God, show me me. Mm -hmm. Lord, the things that, Lord, you're delivering me from, show me. Yes, and it's God. so important that after you give your life or rededicate yourself today, that you ask God to make you over. Yes. Ask yes. him to clean your heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I got to see and give you a renewing of the spirit, heart, mind, and spirit, and soul. And he'll do it. Ask him to prepare yes. you for what yes. is about to happen and what is about to come. Ask him, Lord God, use me. Be his vessel. Yes. People are going to be looking at you to see if you're real. Don't be fake. Amen. Don't be fake. And then up up in your house when everybody gone or whatever, the first thing you do, you pulling out the weed, you pulling out the blunt, you pulling out the half of gallons and getting drunk the whole entire time until it's time to go back into church. You went there slapping your wife around, you beating your kids, not even telling them why. You got a chick on the side, you got a man on the side. You mm. talking to people acting like you all that and a bag of potato chips. But on mm. Sunday morning, Huh. Man, you look like you so holy, huh. but you messed up on the inside. Yeah, my God. Messed up right into the core on the inside. Perpetrating. Yeah. Hypocrite. Uh. Mm, Jesus. Come on now. Today is the day not to be a hypocrite anymore. Today is the day not to purposely, you hear me? Purposely do things to hurt somebody else. Yeah. saying impeccatory impeccatory prayers i may be mispronouncing it but prayers like like against people mm -hmm. saying like you know a person that's always working and you and but they're working for the lord they're doing stuff for the kids and their husband but mm -hmm. you you don't really do too much and you looking at her or then or that man and saying, man, girl, you working too much. You just need to sit down. You need to let them do this, that and the other. But if God is telling that person to do it, you are telling them to do something against what God is saying. And the mm -hmm. thing is worse if the person tell you that they're being obedient to what God has said. And you are praying prayers against that person and saying, Lord, make them sit down. Lord, mm -hmm. I, I called somewhere one time. I heard a person praying that type of prayer saying, oh, Lord, goodness. God, Sister Bonnie just do too much. She's on too many committees, too many boards. She's just doing too much. Lord, God, just sit her down. Lord, mm -hmm. God, she just had surgery not too long ago. Make her be able to sit down for like a whole year where she don't do anything. I oh, took it off a mute. I said, that devil is a liar. That's witchcraft. You oh, praying man, stuff. Man. I said, God's telling me what to do. You wishing what you want on me. Don't do that. Yeah, because that on. stuff can boomerang up on you. And if you have done those type of prayers, get it right now. You have your opportunity. Go to God and say, Lord, I didn't know. Mm. Lord, forgive me. I thought that I was praying, trying to help out the person. Mm, that's all my nice God, he's a forgiving God. He mm -hmm. is a forgiving God. And so he will forgive you. And you know what? He'll wipe it off the slate. He'll put it in the sea of forgetfulness. Yes. If you are holding something in your heart today, 
and you haven't let it go. There You're you go. going around still being Saint Nancy, still not speaking. Your heart has not, is not in a forgiven state. Jesus. And God will no longer forgive you. That's in Matthew. Matthew 6. Read it. Read it. But for right now, I'm going to read Romans that God told me. He told me, don't read it even from my iPad. I got my Bible here. I'm going to read it. It says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thine heart that God have raised him from the dead, that thou shalt be saved. Huh? For with the heart the man believeth unto righteousness, and with his mouth confession is made unto salvation. So, the Lord God, he is called the son of man, the son of God, the servant, the king of the Jews, the Lord of Lord, the way, the truth, and the life. Oh, dear, you got to see the good shepherd. Oh, dear, you got to see the true vine. He has so many names. And on today, call on his name. And say you believe in him, that he is the son of God, and that he died on the cross that we may live, mm. that you can have eternal rest with the father. Mm. The woman of God read John 14, 1 through 6, what Thomas asked him, Lord, how do we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the mm -hmm. truth, and the life. No man can get into thy father but by me, our prayers are to end in Jesus' name. Yeah. He is the mediator. Yeah. He is. Oh, that's Y'all don't understand, but as I'm sitting here, I'm getting pains like through me. But you know what? In the name of Jesus, I rebuke every and anything that is not of you, Lord God. And in the name of Jesus, I cast it to the pits of hell, God. In the name of Jesus, and that you release, Lord God, your anointing that destroys all yoke. Send your and Lord, forgive any and all people, God, that go out of your will. Yes, and that God. would throw something, God. Forgive them, God. Yes, Give Lord, them Jesus. another opportunity and a yes, chance to get it right, God. Lord God, I thank you, God. Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that the people receive your warning, because this is a warning to give Lord. your life to Christ, to prepare, yes. not physically, but to prepare spiritually. Yes. In the name of Jesus, God, yes. I pray that everyone that has given their life to Christ on today, that they will find the church, God, yes. that you will have for them. They will earnestly, God, yes. seek where you will have them to go. Lord. And God, that they will repent daily. And Lord God, that even if the church they go to have mentors, God, that they, Lord God, will get a mentor. And Lord, you match them with the mentor, God, that will be able to relate to them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, cover them with the blood of Jesus and dress them in the full armor of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen. Amen. God is leading me to tell you, before you go to bed at night, pray and ask God to cover you. Because when you are at sleep, the, the enemy tries to get you during that time period because your defense mechanisms are down. Also, when you don't sleep and you're tired, that's a perfect opportunity for the enemy to come in. So make sure that you get rest to keep your spiritual self and on guard to be able to fight the wiles of the enemy. Go and read Ephesians 6, 10 through 18, so you will know the tactics. Get the word of God out and start reading it in the name of Jesus.
Mm, gosh, I gotta decide. Yeah, I gotta see. I um, and also God is saying in this season to praise Him. And yeah. so I'm going to play this song. I won't complain. We played it in the beginning, but I really want the people to listen to it because mm -hmm. that's something that where we all have to get to is that we will not complain. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. And then after this song plays, I'm, the line is yielded to Apostle Davidson to finish it, us out and to close us out. We're not yeah. going to be here before you long because God's given Pacific instructions. Yeah. And so it's not long and drawn out. It's to the point yeah. to do exactly what God is saying. And that's what you're going to have to do. Keep you out of it and just do what God says. Amen. I won't complain means so much to me. Because I've had some good days. I've had some healing cries. I've had some weary days. And some sleepless nights. So when I stop and look around, don't think all of my good days. So good. Yeah, my 
Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Give a mic. Like. Amen. 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 We pray that you heard what the Lord has spoken today to praise him, to worship him, and to give your life to him. Because he loves you. He loves all of us. And he loves you. Me and Prophet's body, we're, we're just, we're servants. The title of apostle, prophet, is evangelist, pastor, and teacher. That's our job description. It doesn't, it doesn't make us any better than you. Because we had to come to God once upon a time too. Yeah. Amen. People, oh, people oh, elevate those titles, put those, yes. put those, put those titles on, on a pedestal where, where it shouldn't be. Where it's our job description. The apostle is to set house in order. The prophet is supposed to give a word from the Lord. The evangelist is supposed to get out and, and, and go and, and bring souls to Christ. The pastor is supposed to shepherd and the teacher is supposed to teach the people. That's all. That's our job description, what we're supposed to do. And we're doing what God has called us to do. So take heed to what Prophetess Bonnie has said, what God gave her to say. Take heed. If you miss something, go back and watch the, the broadcast from the beginning. Because God means business. And we ought to be get down to business ourselves. It's time out for play. It's no more play time. Because this thing, this is real. And it's getting more, more and more real each and every day. Amen. We love you. We love you. We love you so much. If we didn't love you like we do, we wouldn't be up here. We, if we didn't love God like we do, we wouldn't be up here doing what he gave us to do. Amen. 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 I love you, Prophetess Bonnie. I love you, woman of God. Amen. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Amen. It ain't nothing y'all can do about you. it. I didn't know if you heard it or not, though, but I love I you, heard too, Pastor Amen. Davidson. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And ain't nothing y'all can do about it. Amen. Yeah. Ain't nothing you can yeah. do about it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, to present us fallen before the coming of his glory, to the only wise God, be, dom be dominion and majesty and power and glory, both now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen.